How can we copy or array an object on a circular path like this one? In this render, I needed to copy this green piece around the wall, so how many options we have? There's two options. Option number one. We can use the simple copy command on the piece we have with Shift-D. But first, we need to check the object we're rotating around and make sure its pivot or center point is in the right position. The mesh I have is a collection of objects joined together, so the center will be around this small circle. Next, we need to move the cursor to it, so hit Shift-S and choose Cursor to Selection. Now back to the object we want to copy and change its center to the cursor position from the set origin in the object menu. Or you can just change the pivot transformation to 3D cursor from up top. Both works the same with this method. Now we can rotate it around the wall, so select it, hit Shift D to make a copy, then press R and Z for the rotation command on the Z axis. Once you make a copy, you can change the angle from the pop-up duplicate menu down on the left. Here you can change the degree of rotation before spamming Shift-R to repeat the rotation command. This method is a fast one, but it lacks the editing side once you're done. Option number two, we can use Array. But first, let me change the pivot transformation back to default and set the object origin to cursor. Same, same, but different, but still same. Ha. Now let us add an array modifier to the object, uncheck relative offset, and turn on object offset. Here we will assign an empty, so add one in the cursor position and assign it in the array. The empty is in both the object and the wall pivot point. So once we rotate it, the object we need to copy will rotate. The rest is with the array setting. Increase the count number to have more copies. This method have more flexibility in editing since at any time we can change the empty rotation or the array count. There is a third option. There is? Option number three. We can select the object in edit mode and use the spin tool. We usually use this in pipes and corners, but why not? We can spin the entire shape around one axis and use the pop-up menu on the bottom left side of the screen to change the steps and increase the copies. You also have the angle to adjust the spacing between the copies. This method is fast, easy and editable, so have fun. That's it. Like and share if you're still here. Until next time, stay sharp. Goodbye.